Perfect, thanks. Um, hi again. Uh, nice to meet you all guys. Uh, it is the first time I'm presenting here. I'll show you here in Belgium even. Yeah, but anyway, we are starting and our topic today is why you are, your career pages is killing your hiring process. Um, yes, nice to meet you again. My name is Alona. My name is Mia. <laughs> yeah, she's Mia. And we are working for Springbook. Uh, we are part of Springbook strategy team. Uh, I am a UX designer and researcher uh, with big, huge actually experience in performance marketing. I just switched several months ago from performance marketer to uh, UXer, so don't hesitate <laughs> to ask me about performance as well. And Mia is service designer and she's working for Springbok already a half a year, no, half a year, one in a year, yeah, one year and a half. Me neither. Uh, yeah, so we are talking about this topic now and today. Uh, and small remark, uh, you need your mobile phone for two minutes during our presentation. So be ready. Uh, we will not talk about uh, our agenda, we will just talk. Uh, so why, you, why are we talking about career pages today? We decided to start with this topic as, as UX service designers recently we are receiving a lot of uh, requests concerning uh, brand career websites. How to improve them, how to make them more attractive to the candidates, how to increase uh, conversions of the job uh, profile pages. And we are doing of course our researches, our interviews, making personas, customer journeys, uh, ideation and yes of course course, helping our clients to decide on the most important and crucial things. But we will talk about it in a few minutes. First, we'd like to start why. Why there are so many questions concerning career pages now. And the answer probably is because your yeah because your customer relationship department guys sold the project to the client yeah good point but not only because of this because our we need better answer and the better answer is actually because our clients need help and uh, the question about career pages improvement could be raised by various stakeholders within an organization. The importance of improving career pages lies in its direct impact on company websites to ability to interact, engage and uh, of course uh, hire the right, the right talent efficiently. It can help to enhance the empowered brand, increase the quality of applicants, uh, reduce time of uh, filling in positioning and improve the overall rec recruitment process. Leading, of course, to better organization outcomes, including better pro services provided and sales. Uh, why this so huge impact now? Because actually job market is hot and candidates are really aware about it. Um, they feel themselves uh, quite in a stronger position even than the recruiters because they actually know and they are not only know but they are confident with their value uh, on bargain their power um, 70 almost 75 percent of responders of global service said that they are approached multiple times per year about the job opportunities and almost 40 percent said even that they approach every every month so the impact of that is really huge um, even though the employees are confident that they are in negotiation position, they are quite open to think about the new job opportunities. And the question is if they have the good proposal. And if we are talking about again the job, uh, the survey that we mentioned pre previously, service shows that only 42% uh, of people are actively looking for a job. And almost equal, 41% are considered of changing jobs if they receive this good uh, job offer. Belgium job market is under huge pressure now. Uh, high inflation rates coupled with record uh, low in unemployment rates currently characterize characterize a common picture of European market and it's not a big surprise that in Belgium we have the same uh, even more uh, no surprise that four of five employers are experiencing difficulties filling in their vacancies and it can be tricky thing that we might think that uh, yeah 
we are talking about only digital professionals here, but it's not. The sector, uh, no sector is spared from talent short, short shortages. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we have actually experiencing the same situation with all the sectors that we have in our uh, yeah, customers relationships department. We are receiving requests from uh, people uh, from finance, digital sector, IT, energy and industrials. Uh, even though the companies are actually recruiting the people, uh, they are still struggling with the, to find the right candidates. And here come our clients and their career website. It looks like not really good opportunity, but it's not. We start with applicant's journey. So meet Sophia. Sophia is experienced UX UI sorry, designer, and she's working for a middle-sized software development company. Uh, Sophia is working for this company already for six years. She enjoys her work, but Recently, she started to feel undervalued and unappreciated on her current role. Yeah, she got a lot of responsibilities, but her salary is not that good. She's now thinking about the possibility to change in her employer. Uh, talking about the application journey, we should mention that there are three main phases that every applicant will go through. The first one, of course, is pre-application phase. The second one is application and selection phase and working experience. And everything starts with the intent, as we already mentioned with Sophia. Yeah. We will not talk a lot about uh, the whole journey today, but we will focus on the most crucial steps to see how we, as UX designers, can impact on, the, on her positive experience. Uh, so Sophia application journey starts and she's doing her very basic passive exploration. She's not that strong in her desire to change the position. She's just uh, doing her baby steps. She's checking via Google and via job sites and via LinkedIn. And it should be mentioned that uh, across different uh, service and from our service as well we know that there are uh, m that most of the applicants are actually doing the same they're not checking only one source but they're checking several uh, and the one of the crucial thing is here with a starting point to check the specific job sites also should be mentioned probably that for most of the students and the people who are actually looking for a job that, but just graduates, uh, they are starting their journey with the company website. So actually they are really uh, enjoy and yeah, probably already know the company that they are going to apply to. Our research says and global survey again proves omnichannel rocks. Looking for a job candidates almost equally rely on professional social platforms like LinkedIn, personal contacts, okay, we know a lot of people and we will ask them as well, of course, and company websites. It is the, it is the beginning, yeah, and, they, we, and, the, and here we are starting with this. And of course, <laughs> no surprise, a lot of candidates are searching for better salary. It's, it was a myth some time ago, some years ago, that there is no information should be mentioned on the salary, but it's not. We are all humans, we are all uh, yeah, struggling with the crises that we have now, and yes, of course, we are interested in salary, and we are interested in benefit that new employer will have to share with us. What candidates search for? Global context, again, salary and benefits, of course, but also people are interested and they are starting with this as well, the location. They are interested and they are looking for the location. They are starting their journey with finding the right um, description of their job, probably, and the location. Yeah, it's ma it makes a bit different uh, situation when we are talking about looking for vacation and what we are actually and candidates actually matters most. But the crucial thing are always the same: the salary, description of task that should be really clear, and hiring process exploration should be also clear. And <laughs> guess what? AI is not that important so far. Yeah, it's just a bus. AI bus is still a bus. Candidates are not fine being inter interviewed by AI so far. Even though people, even those people who are actually from digital sphere are still need other people. Sorry. 
Belgium context, it was no surprise, of course. Again, we have the same. We saw that uh, the region and professional domain are the core issues here, not issues, sorry, but the core principles to start with. And the distance between home and work are also important, of the huge importance. And again, more clear job titles are actually expected from, uh, from the employees' websites and job uh, sites as well. Talking to uh, next step, exploration and consideration, actually even company websites are becoming more crucial. And even though you see that there are a lot of opportunities for other touch points, but company websites are the most important here because people are really like to know about the values of the company, about everything that concerning the company itself, about the philosophy, about the people and all the other stuff. What exactly? They are looking for culture and values. They are looking for their future colleagues and their work vibes. They are looking for offices as well. Yeah, they'd like to see where they will go and well with, where they will work. Again, benefits, not only salaries, but benefits and career opportunities and hour of performance as well, because we are not working for 24 hours per day. Yeah, And of course, they are looking for flexibility and distance. And in terms of flexibility and distance, we should mention probably that um, people from experienced people and students or just graduated people are feel a bit different on this level, because flexibility for youngsters and for yeah for adult people are a bit different flexibility for youngsters are about having the relaxed timetable and flexibility for older people is to have some flexible uh, working hours during the week but yes we are going back to sophia Sophia, okay, she went through the dark forest of vacancies and a lot of things are already coming up and she's actually interested in and she found some yeah good opportunities, some good job descriptions via LinkedIn and job site and she's what? She's actually wanted to go further. She's wanted to go next step and she's wanted to go through the website to know more about job itself, about the culture, what what is which is in the company about people about the opportunities that she will have and she's going in deep into the career page now mia the floor is yours yes thanks so can you take out your phone please and scan this qr code <laughs> Scan the website for like five seconds. You can click anywhere. Just analyze it. Not five seconds. A bit well, more. Well, yeah, five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Maybe go into a bit deeper than five seconds. Yeah, you yeah. can go deeper. Yeah. A moment of silence. A moment of silence. Yes, a moment of silence. Or not. <laughs> we can dance. Not just one I wonder what the results are. Going yeah, let's see. Let's see now. Huh? Ah, serious? Sorry. Oh, so cool. Okay. So light. Someone is laughing. Nice. I wonder what that reaction will be. <laughs> Everybody's talking, so probably we can. Yeah, we can discuss it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, people, what do you think about what you've already saw? It's a great place to work. <laughs> great place to work. Yeah. Okay. So, who would vote for a smiley face or a crying face? A smiley face. 
No one? Why? <laughs> yeah, one. We have one vote. That's very weird. Okay. Weird? Crying okay. face, like with a tear. Yeah. Maybe you can explain why. Uh, it's a bit chaotic. Sometimes titles are being repeated. Um, yeah. The design's a bit yeah, all over the place, different fonts and stuff. And it took so you, me a while before to know. Yeah. So your um, first impression would be? Chaotic. 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 Someone else? Martin? Great place good great place to work. Okay, yeah. yeah. Any other idea? But I don't know what they're doing actually. You don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. Anyone? Anyone? No? You like it, if I'm not mistaken? Is there a translation? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's, you don't have to look at the copy. It's just yeah, but let's go further. So what do applicants look for? Um, when looking for a job, most people look at the company website and almost 50% look at the reviews about the company um, because they want to know who they would work for, how the work environment is um, and yeah, so what can we derive from that? that first impressions matter. Namely because assumptions shape our behavior and these first impressions or so-called assumptions can significantly impact our uh, candidate's perception. As you... Oh, oh. Time. <laughs> yeah, so you look at here a few examples of a first impression. Yeah, I, I don't know what your first impressions are, but mine isn't that very good. So yeah, not only your career pages are important, your company websites are important as well. Is it part? So what does a good career page look like? So by maintaining your brand consistency across all touch points ensures a unified brand image. Um, this consistency um, will reinforce your organization's values and your messaging. And also a strong brand presence will add credibility to your website. So make your content more appealing by storytelling and putting your employees on the, yeah, on the forefront on your, of your page. So let's dissect Spotify. Spotify is a good example of how brand identity is strongly incorporated uh, within the career page with a lasting impression. They welcome you to join the band um, and that is something that goes in line with their brand and product, of course. But there's more to that. You still gotta sell and express yourself. You still gotta introduce yourself you got to uh, tell your story, where you come from, what you stand for. Um, and Spotify does a good job at their copy. They emphasize that they are one band and not solo artists. In a way, they are actually telling that they are one big happy family and that no one is being left out. And don't forget to share your values because they are very crucial. They define your company's personality and this way applicants can relate to your values um, well like if they're aligned with yours as well like uh, <laughs> sorry and everyone loves benefits so list them everyone wants to know what benefits they can get if they would work for you and it will also make you stand out from your competition um, and what Spotify also does very well is they help they tell their approach by emphasizing on mental health and mental illness this way they want to show that they care for their employees and because of this um, emphasis they really show that they are there for their people and because of if your people drive your company drives with it and don't forget to flaunt your workspace because yeah, people want to know where they're gonna end up with, uh, at. Uh, make them excited um, and give them a glimpse of your workspace. Yeah, like this here. <laughs> this is where we work. Um, Spotify 
does also very well but trying to be actually they are trying to be inclusive and diverse they also even have a separate page with numbers of how many men and women work there and what race they're from i think I, if i remember correctly i think it's like 60% white people, so they're, they're on their good way. <laughs> um, so there's a whole page also dedicated to inclusivity and diversity. And they also implement um, little testimonials across several pages. Uh, but that's not a very good example of that, but they, they are still present, yeah? So to keep in mind, um, your company thrives because of its people. So spotlight them, introduce them, and use authentic images of real people to humanize your brand. So let's proceed with the vacancy page. Yeah, the application uh, vacancy page, I'm sorry. <laughs> so be clear and relevant in your copy. Uh, by that I mean use clear function titles and not like a unicorn analyst because I don't know what that is even. Um, write relevant information that is relevant to the function, of course. Um, use or yeah, implement uh, easy scannable content and be transparent in your communication. So I remember something like that. Um, a founder of Kubernetes um, tried to apply for a yeah, vacancy and they were asking for 12 years of experience. But Kubernetes only existed for six years by, by then. So he applied and he got denied. So that's, yeah, that's a weird one. <laughs> so yeah. And what Spotify does good as well is they put the call to action visible. It always stands out, it's always sticky, and that's very accessible to the applicants. And as Aliona mentioned, location is very important, so list that as well. And don't forget, money is key. I know in Belgium it's not a very common thing to place your wage or the salary, but if it can be done, put a number on it or at least an estimate. It will be a huge opportunity. Yeah, I don't know. And a big plus to you if you put your uh, hiring process as well, because this way the con candidate can know what he can expect and what to prepare for if he reels in an interview. In the survey, it was the third thing that is matter most to the customers, <laughs> to the applicants actually. Yeah. yeah. So let's unravel the application forms. The site that you visited back like a few minutes ago, this is the application form of that website. It's very chaotic. They also, they, it's also very outdated and they also offer a lot of choices. I don't even know what those are. And a question that they ask is first year of work. Maybe, I don't know, what, what is the first year of work? And the last year that you can enter is 2028. It's like five years into the future. I don't know, I can't time travel. So yeah, <laughs> but this is not how to design your application form. This is a good yeah, example of how you can design your application forms. It's easy to scan and it's very descriptive. And by that, I mean the titles of your function are yeah, to the point um, and your labels. And less is more because yeah, if you use too much images or videos, it's going to be distracting to the applicants. And a plus to you, of course, if you include inclusivity like Spotify does, you can even fill in a custom yeah, input there so you can be a unicorn or whatever. <laughs> Um, so be flexible, be also flexible in your uh, communication channels you are offering to the applicants. Uh, LinkedIn and WhatsApp is a good example of that. But overall, just remember KISS. I don't know if you all know KISS, uh, I don't know what generation you're from. But no, I meant KISS as in keep it short and simple. Uh, for your forms, of course, mm -hmm. your labels, your copy, your amount of actions, your input fields, and the content uh, itself. But, so you sent out your application, what next? The job offer. And if, if people know the godfather, yeah, Don Corleone, yeah. So make an offer that he can't, or she can't, or they can't re refuse. 
and Spotify does a very gr great job at that. It. Spotify stays very consistent with their brand by making its own platform an integral part of the hiring process. And if, and yeah, so they offer a job offer in the form of a playlist. So if you read it like really fast, this is a real example and I really like it. But the question is why did I take Spotify as an example? Because we want to be more in touch with our applicants across the touch points that they use in, a, in their daily life. So we actually once, not now, made a vacancy playlist from Springbok. Um, <laughs> and maybe if, it's, if I'm going to put... Yes. Oh, wait. Thanks to our creative team from Springbok. But yeah, would you take the offer? Sure. <laughs> yeah, and what would you do? Yeah, Red? Yes, the offer is accepted? Okay. So it all comes to, yeah, plan for a better hiring process. And if you are doing that, think broader. Of course, you have the all the phases that we have just mentioned. Awareness, search and exploration, consideration, application and long term actually working process. Yeah, and we were talking about only career websites and that this step can be forwarded. Yeah, but don't worry <laughs> and actually be relevant. Sorry, no excuses, but you need to have a relevant vacancies anyway. But career page is really important. Please, please don't kill your hiring process with bad experience of career pages. But it's not the only thing that is matter. The full applicant journey is really, really matter. From very beginning when the applicant is just even not an applicant, just think, start thinking about the process of changing his or her positioning and till the end, till the, he or she become the team member. To create a successful hiring journey, you need to consider all the touch points and all the way of doing this will bring you a happiness, of course, and successful. Don't forget our tips and make your hiring process better. Questions? Do you have any questions? We are here to help you if... Yes, please. Um, I'm, a, I'm a freelance consultant, so I'm just wondering when you were researching your course, yep. did you touch on the freelance experience very much and did it affect you? Yeah, yeah, we have several, uh, yeah, we have, uh, actually we have several uh, searches, service. Uh, one of the survey was from the global side, as you meant, as I already mentioned. Uh, but for our, one of our customer, we also made a big research and it was also consistent with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was four? Outsourcing. Yeah. Yeah, outsourcing. Yeah. So yeah, actually it also consist with this type of profiles. So yes. <laughs> yeah, there was some, uh, I didn't mention this here, but there was some, uh, and it was most of the time concerning the uh, things with the uh, work-life ba balance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Anyone else? No? All right. <laughs> yes. 
Um, I think this is a great example. Do you think there are other opportunities or maybe similar ones to leverage UX skills and practices internally to organizations? It seems like that's kind of what you've uncovered here is how can we, rather than thinking about UX strictly as a client facing practice or an externally facing practice, leverage it also internally to improve our systems, processes, and outcomes? From the company itself? Yeah, yeah, for the company. Um, well, we actually did an exercise. Oh, we actually did an exercise on that for our company, but it still has to be launched. <laughs> so that's a secret. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, when we are talking about the applicant's journey, we should we should always think about not only the touch points of the yeah website, but always think about the awareness phase as the select and exploration phase as well, and think about how to get more awareness and how to bring more people on the website itself so SEO hey guys we are welcome you here and of course the long-term experience in the company and it means that we all need to be together with the human resource department corporate culture and stuff like that so yeah 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 oh. I, am I, I don't know if you encountered it in your research, but um, your websites like Glassdoor, where you can mm -hmm. ask opinions about companies, uh, do you think it has a lot of value? Do people yes. take it into account? Or? Oh. Yes, uh, the survey actually showed that people are really interested in uh, having uh, the testimonials from other companies, and employees actually, and they're checking this on the phase of uh, exploration and consideration. So it's also matters for them. But, Glass, but Glassdoor also lists their vacancies. No, not vacancies, but the wages that they... Uh, um, not always. Yeah, but people can fill them in yeah. personally and that's a good like um, thing to scale. The benchmark. Yeah, so that's a plus so for I Glassdoor. I it's uh, trustworthy. That's a good question, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I once, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it should be mentioned probably that uh, there are a lot of companies who are actually mm, manipulating with testimonials and it should be also like a bit tricky thing to discover and that is why probably people are always, not always, but also thinking about to talk to people who are really working with the company. And that is why it's this source of uh, communication and this touch points is really of a big importance. Yes. I uh, loved it, really good. And that nice range as well, and it was a great sort of ending with you. I love your Spotify playlist, that was very yeah. inspiring. Very <laughs> catchy. I was just wondering if um, you know, only think about like, the novice expert shift or like, people starting their career versus people who already have a role and they know what they want, and so therefore they're not more looked for as opposed to what, what you could want to have. I'm just thinking. Have you thought about changing it so that, not changing, or allowing it so that if someone hasn't got those skills, they can work out what do they need to get, so therefore they might want to come to this more? It's like I was correct. Yes, I have some, I have one slide with data concerning the applicant that is going to, might might uh, change their job for better opportunity and they actually for those people who are yeah really interested not really interested in changing their position but they might change their position so they are also considering this yes just a second <laughs> Show. Reset. yes not here <coughs> yes so people are, yeah, where is it? Yeah, that was, that was the inspiration of this, like active versus passive. Yeah, yeah, the, the question the question is uh, that people are now a bit struggling because of the ten, ten, tense that we have here in, in the, yeah, around us. But anyway, people uh, can consider for another opportunity to change in the, and switch in their role. Like, for example, me do, <laughs> me did. But anyway, people are le looking forward for better opportunities and that, is actually the starting point. So if you will be uh, the, the job applicant, for for example, yeah, and you will be charged with some positioning or with some better offering that you have now, it might be the case for you for changing the opportunities. But yeah, we don't go into details in this, sorry. <laughs> yes? I was wondering if there's some 
research of the negative part of the journey when the applicant is declined? We didn't do that exercise so far. Actually, we did it exercise for one of the customers, uh, but we are not showing this now, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but there are also, of course, bad experience. It's not the case that everything is going smoothly every time. Yeah, and the, actually the pain point that we have in our job applicants are always, um, not always, but most of them are about uh, the consideration. And actually when you are talking about the, uh, pre-application phase, when they are just skip the whole journey for because they don't find the right answer or they don't have the relevance, the merge between them and the, yeah, and the, and, and the applica application that they are checking for. And the function title. Yeah, fu function titles is also important, of course. We have time for one more question. Yes. yes. My question comes from the fact you said that the salary range is not typical in Belgium. Yes. It made me wonder if you spotted any cultural differences. Yes. Yeah. yeah, actually in Netherlands uh, there are a lot of companies, not a lot, but most of the companies are exploring their, vacancy, uh, their salaries and not only in Netherlands, but we are describing this case because we actually have the same languages and probably we should have more or less the same opportunities. But if you are, if you are looking for, for example, if you'd like to compare the wages, it's better to check with Netherlands companies as well, <laughs> at least to have a benchmark. Thanks. Thank you both so much for a great presentation. I think I know what I'll be singing all the way home on yeah, the train. Yeah. Before, <laughs> exactly. Before we break, I'm going to uh, hand it over to Jill here, who has an exciting thing to share with the crew. Thank you, Alan. Hi, I'm Jill. I'm excited uh, to share with you that we're giving away three books tonight, given to us by the Smashing Ma uh, by Smashing Magazine. There, um, and they are organizing the um, Smashing Conference. How can you win a book? We're giving away one already right now. Um, you can win by answering my question, and my question is. Where is the conference taking place? Antwerp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who was first? <laughs> right here. The lady on top. Right. So this book is yours. We will uh, be giving away two more books later tonight. Okay. Great. So for now, we're going to take a 15 minute break. Eight, yeah, 8 p.m. And we will reconvene at 8 for our second talk and the next book.